And our crew is making their approach. Let's see how this one fares. So our guy looks like he's trying to get the lines ready. Cap at the helm. Got it pointed where he wants. But the wind and currents grabbed him a little bit. It's pulling him a little bit over. Oh no! Oh! <laughs> and he just nails it head on. That's what happens when you leave the helm sometimes. I mean, if he'd have been at the helm, he probably could have brake checked that and avoided that hit. But he chose to commit, leave the helm, and now this crew winds up smacking the dock. Welcome back, guys, to the greatest show on earth, and that is the Miami Boat Ramps channel. And today, we are visiting Black Point Marina. And our crew's on the ready. Guy makes the wise decision and kind of gets down a little bit. When he was standing up, you never know. Somebody can go flying off the front. Uh-oh, coming in hot. Watch your hand, bro. That's a close one. And that's why you don't put limbs between yourself and the dock. So they're trying to get a stern line up. Cap's going to bring it forward a little bit. See if we can get this one buttoned up. Oh, she goes for the toss, the miss. Second time's the charm. And they should be good to go from here. Our crew's coming in. They've got the fenders out, getting the lines on the ready, and actually look prepared. They're ready to go. But you can tell by the branches you can see in front of us, the trees you see in the background, and the way the water's moving, it's a difficult situation today. There's a lot of factors at play. And let's see how our crew does as they make their approach. I can't tell what our guy's doing now though, because it looks like he was trying to move the fender over here to the left-hand side of the boat. So Cap may be not fully determined on where he's going to go. Obviously approaching the dock on the right hand side is going to be the easiest today that's the way the current and wind and everything's pushing and man you can tell he's backed out and the wind and current has grabbed him so cap obviously didn't like something on the approach but man just look at how much everything is grabbing him and pulling him to the right so he's going to have to try this approach one more time so here comes Cap for round two. Now the crew in the boat appears to be on the ready, so he's got some assistance. Taking the slow roll approach, I think he might have started his turn a little too early though. This is gonna try and kick it back out on him for sure. Brake checks it a little early, and that's going to be it again. That brake check's going to let the wind and current grab him one more time. <laughs> and our guy's going to have to pull out on this one. And reset this whole thing up one more again. And let's see how he fares for attempt three. But man, it's just ripping. <laughs> and this can be frustrating sometimes as a captain. So Kappa, it looks like he's going to pick a different dock. Which I would highly recommend... Coming in a little hot, he's gonna have to brake check this one too, and let's see if that messes him up. And no, he looks like he's good, and our crew should be able to get this one put up from here. And we look like we're good to go. Caps on approach. Wifey on the ready. Wind and current's pushing heavy into this dock, so he's got to come up wide a little bit and let it push him in. Gets too close on it. Oh, and a little love tap. Just came in a little too close on this situation. He kind of needed just to set up a little off the dock and let the wind and current do the rest of the work. And 
and another crew stuck on the dock. And we got one guy in the stern, well, the rear of the truck. Let's see if that's enough to get him out. Smoking tires, baby, but not pulling out. Gonna either have to get a better running start or we're gonna have to get some more weight on the rear of this truck or the tongue of the trailer. So we're gonna back down and try again. that they backed down far enough to really give him any better of a running start. They didn't get a whole lot of weight off the truck. Just wasn't quite enough. They really needed a little bit more weight off the truck to try and get that better running start. They needed to float the boat just a little more. But really what he needs is some assistance here. He needs some other people to jump on the bed of this truck to try and get a little more grip on those rear tires. So here we go, back and down one more time. Really needs to come down to where that boat starts to float off the trailer a little bit. Right now, it doesn't really look like it is still. But let's see if it's enough to get it out this time and get our crew on their way. I'm not 100% sure though. Guy's taking his time waiting on this approach. Somebody in the docks telling the guy on the back of the truck to jump up and down when they're going. And here we go. We're going to get a little extra hand. Let's see if this is enough. And here we go. They're bouncing their way. And it looks like he's going to get over the hump and they'll finally be able to get out of here. And speaking of getting out of here, we're going to go ahead and get out of here as well. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Miami Boat Ramps. If you did, please check out our other content. We have Wavy Boats, who does a bunch of great things down at Hollover Inlet. My channel, Broncos Guru, we do some great comedy boating videos there as well. And of course, we've got Boats vs. Hollover, where me and a machine take on Mother Nature down at Hollover Inlet. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.